fucked up Friday night. You're still watching Boogie Manja. It's a sketch comedy show that normally happens at the People's Improv Theater, but we're online this season because there's a pandemic. We can't hear your lovely voices. We love to hear your laughter, but since we can't hear it, we'd love to see it down in the chat. You see that chat box? And, chat us up down below. And guys, if you haven't heard, there's something in America called an election and it's November 3rd. So you should vote, but you can also vote like right, right now, probably. Look up your local early voting plan. Yeah, Gabby. So you just saw Bold Whip. They were amazing. And you're about to see our team, Pagliacci. Woo! Woo! Day in the high profile college admissions scandal, Zachary Lori Lachlan and her husband Massimo Giannulli await their fates. Federal prosecutors urge the judge to accept plea deals that call for two months behind bars for Lachlan. Because of the pandemic, Lachlan and Giannulli will appear separately via video conference. Ladies and gentlemen of the court. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the court. My name is the bailiff and I'm happy to introduce my friend, Judge Gordon. Judge, take it away. Hello, thank you, bailiff. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending this uh, Zoom high profile hearing. Uh, all right, let's get to it. The uh, virtual jury has reached a verdict and the jury finds the defendant, Laurie Laughlin, guilty of committing federal bribery in the college admission scandal. I hereby sentence you to two months in federal prison. Uh, Your Honor, Your Honor, we'd like to invoke a motion to allow Ms. Laurie Laughlin to choose her own prison. Uh, that's right, Your Honor. After all, that is Rebecca from Full House. Full disclosure, my yaya used to nanny her kids. <clears throat> Whatever happened to predictability was a third, 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 third. Sorry. What grounds should the defendant be able to choose her own prison? Uh, my client has white privilege. Oh, my God. Did I forget? Yeah. White privilege cannot be used in a court of law. It's <laughs> 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 funny she said that. That's really funny. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, order, uh, order the virtual. 
virtual court. That's a good one, Legs. Uh, all right. Well, Miss Laughlin, I hereby sentence you to two months in the federal prison of your choice, of course. Court is adjourned. Let's go. To everyone who's out there, okay, know this. My client has white privilege, all right? She has been treated unfair. Even though I cannot physically be there, I stand by my client and I will win this. And we are going to take this entire case and blow it up to the media. White privilege. Privilege, white, white privilege, white privilege, white privilege. We've got a great photo shoot set up here to paint my client in the honest, hardworking, dedicated woman slash mother slash actor that she is. I have gotten the harshest sentencing that I could have possibly imagined. For those of you out there who are mothers, who are actors, who are actors that are mothers, I just say to you, you know, you know what I'm going through. Let's go! Thank you, Lori, for joining me for this interview. Lori, how do you feel getting away with money laundering, a case that surely would have been judged more harshly in other communities? Um, I'm so sorry. I couldn't hear you over uh, white privilege. Lori, how do you feel about getting away with money laundering? Uh, what she means is that she accepts the punishment enforced by the cruel, cruel long arm of the law. Um, so just question, uh, can you hear this? I just... Did you give me $10,000 in hush money? Like, I, I'm mm -hmm. going to keep this money. Reparations want to let you know. But I'm still going to report this story. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the court, once again, I am your bailiff, and I'm here to welcome you back to Lori Laughlin doing bad stuff again. <laughs> Judge Bay, hey, Judge Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again, bailiff. Uh, welcome back, uh, Miss Laughlin. Uh, so the jury, the virtual jury, finds the defendant. Lori Laughlin guilty of bribing members of the yes. press. I hereby sentence you to two months in the federal prison of your choice. Your Honor, white privilege, white privilege, white privilege, white privilege, white privilege. Your Honor, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Miss Laughlin, clearly you have no time for prison. Um, one month, in Mykonos Island to clear your mind. Court is adjourned. Let's go. Hey, I got the coke. Sandra Cook, you're under arrest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, 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 what are you doing, man? Oh my god. Oh, hey. oh. Hey. Oh. 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 My turn. Hey, Miss Laughlin, if you don't mind, can I just get like a signature real fast? Like my Yaya, like, you know, she would absolutely love it. I mean, she did. She like super dead. But like, it would just like mean a lot to her if you could just like check this out. Like, if you don't mind. <clears throat> Oh, also, like, uh, of course, Your Honor, I would never make, uh, you know, an absolute mockery of a court of law, even if you did play Rebecca in uh, Full House, of course. What a great show. Can I just stay at home? Well, you are very guilty, but uh, yeah, sure. Court is adjourned. Whatever happened to predictability and making sure that people work to jail for stuff, but it's Rebecca. So, okay. 
Yeah, this is his yeah, yeah. Let's go. Too spooky. I didn't care for it. I wish I could be there. Kyle, put your hand in. Alright. Special Agent Sawyer Campbell, nobody move! Oh, hi! Well, 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 what have we had here? It's a Halloween party. Shut up. Computer, shut up. I know a body parts party when I see one. Wait, a body parts party? Oh, don't act so innocent. Cause I can see you guys are into some sick shit. You, step away from the Halloween bucket! of eyeballs, eh? Disgusting. Still wet. Even I know they're just skinless grapes, and I'm not even there. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard? Ah, oh, you think that a bucket of intestines is standard too? Ugh. That's spaghetti. Ugh. Do you really think these are real human body parts? You put the bullshit, okay? I'm not falling for it again. You eat one piece of chewed gum at a crime scene that ends up being human brains, and the Bureau never lets you live it down. Why would you eat chewed gum? Yeah, and chewed gum at a crime scene? I'm the one asking the questions, okay? Next thing you're gonna tell me, this bowl of red liquid isn't blood. I mean, again, I, I'm not there. I could just tell that it's just punch. Nobody's gonna drink Shut blood. Shut up, computer. Sh sh shut it. Okay, wh where'd you get this punch, huh? Did you hang a little kid up by his feet, slit his neck, and bathe in his blood, you sick fox? Uh, actually, it's just Hawaiian punch and Sprite. Like, normal people for Wait, fun stuff. Wait, is there actually ginger ale in this, too? Because it has, like, a fun little bite to it. Oh, actually, yeah, there could be. There could be, spicy. Actually. Which one is it, Sprite or ginger ale? Your story's falling apart! My mom made that. Mmm, now we're getting somewhere. Wait till the Bureau hears about this. They're not gonna call me Special Agent Brain Gum Gal. That's not a very catchy nickname. You know, we are federal agents, we are not nickname come-uppers, and you all are distracting me. There is so much evidence here, okay? What about this, huh? R.I.P. Barry M. Deep? This poor family. I made that for Halloween, okay? Like, Barry M. Deep? Like, Barry them Deep? Oh, <laughs> that's funny! I didn't get that before! <laughs> Do you not laugh? Hey, hey, what about these guys, huh? You can't have ghosts without murderers. And you know what? I haven't even gotten to the most damning evidence of all. Huh? Yeah. The murder weapon. It's actually the prop for my costume. I'm gonna be a sexy devil. Sexy? Likely story. You know what? This is going to be the biggest bus in the Bureau's history. And I'm going to get a promotion to operations manager. And there will be no more special agent eats brains and he's gone. And it's like never ever going to happen. Gun speaker. Uh, attention agents, we have received reports of children in disguises demanding candy with the threat of tricks from strangers. We've been told they are just trick-or-treating, but we don't want to fall for that again. Okay, yeah. You don't want to find yourself up hey. to your neck in candy with half the San Antonio Spurs missing. You kids are lucky. You gotta go. Don't, uh, don't be bad. Do you need help? No. Yeah, there's a front door. Gonna... Front door? That way. Front door. Because it's true what they say. Federal agents really are as dumb as cops. Seems that way. Yet, and I'm already terrified from all these sketches. Hello, I'm 
I'm coming to you today to talk about an exciting new expansion to the Library of Congress. Now, when you think of the Library in Congress, the Library, wait, now, when you think of the Library of Congress, you may not think of home video, <laughs> outrageous bloopers, but that's exactly what this wing of the library was built for. Head in this department is Dr. Susan Flash. Now, Susan, can you take us into some of the uh, more recent additions to what this uh, museum is all about? Well, I am very excited to be heading such an important wing of our library. The collection I brought with me today is some of the most outrageous goose blunders and uh-ohs to ever be caught on video by men and women just like our viewers at home today. Our first video is from 2002. It was captured on tape by Amy Preston from Kalamazoo, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> now, Susan, you did promise us you'd give us a little sneak peek behind the scenes of what goes into preserving the video in this new archive. I did, and they're actually on another Zoom call right now. Let's see if we can take a little peek at their discussion. Blah, 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 blah. I've just been listening to you drone on all day long here. The question we all have to ask ourselves while reviewing this clip of a guy biffing it on a four-wheeler is, does this add something to the genre? I think it adds quite a bit to the ATV discourse. The man both face plants and gets hit in the nuts at the same time. How often do you see I that? I think that is definitely an interesting feature, but the thinning, it, it, it's, I feel like I've seen it a million times before. I mean, uh, 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 an old yard with brown grass, a junky old four-wheeler, there's the laughs are there, but I'm not feeling it aesthetically. The laughs are there, you said it yourself. We're essentially choosing the blooper reel of our nation. These are the videos our grandchildren will be watching to lightly mock our foolishness. These are the sacred artifacts of our silly failures. Let's not forget the job we're tasked to do I've here. I've seen these conversations go on for hours, days, years. Just incredible to have such a revealing peek behind the curtain and see all the thought that goes into making sure America's official archive of funny at home videos will endure the generation. This has been an inside look at the goings on of the Library of Congress. Check back next week to take a look inside the library's efforts to document the most epic no scope headshots ever. Ta ta for now. I'm Lawrence Copperpot, Library of Congress. Halloween's my least favorite season because of all the frights! Right now, delivering things people need has never been more important. That's why we price gouged hand sanitizer and didn't give our warehouses enough PPE until there was a whistleblower, and then we fired the whistleblower. It's simple. We know you need the stuff. We know you need all of it. We guarantee that nothing that's shipped to you has germs from the bathroom on it, because we don't let our employees go to the bathroom. This is fine. For those whoopsies we can't control, we widen the urethras of all our warehouse employees to ensure minimal bathroom time. Oh, I love it here. My boss is a robot, and a single shift is longer than a 9 to 5. Also, they're always watching me. I feel seen all the time. If you sign up for Prime today, we'll let you remotely spank a warehouse employee for free. Back to work! To all of our Amazon retail heroes who we make work while sick and while wearing a tracking bracelet, we, we want to wanna thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I'm so glad to be part of the Amazon family. One time, when I was being chased by an Amazon drone, I lost my arm to a robot. And then I went on Amazon and bought a new one. Thanks, Amazon. We will continue to do everything we can to keep you safe within these walls and powerless within our corporate structure. Even though we just made a killing in this pandemic, you're not getting a raise. You're not getting a raise? Nope! And to our customers, thank you for always standing by us and by Alexa, who hears everything you do. <laughs> she 
She's cute that way. You'll never stop us. In the time it took you to watch this, we killed the very idea of small business. Sign up for Prime today! Are these sketches supposed to be this spooky? I'm crying. Oh my god. There's no way out. Um I don't I don't see I don't see any zombies. We sh we should send somebody out there to see if the coast is no, clear. No, we can't send somebody on a suicide mission. We have to, okay? It's our only hope. We can't stay in here forever. What are you looking at me for? I just I thought um I just thought that maybe... Uh, oh, it's, it's, is, it, is it because I'm black? No. No, what the? No. Oh, no. God, no. I... Uh, never. Uh, I... It's right, because uh, in, the, in a movie, black guy is supposed to do the, do the dangerous thing, right? Because the, the black guy is supposed to die, right? It's a movie. Were you guys Ari Aster? Barry, I just figured you were the bravest. Why? Why would you think that about me? Because... Uh, I was at a restaurant one time, and there was a black woman that was, you know, getting mad at the waiter for getting the order wrong, and she was, I, I was like, oh, oh my god, that is like a really, she was like yelling at the, and I was like, I would never be able to do that, like, she's so brave. What? Black people are strong and brave. <sighs> wow, I, I can't, I can't. I can't even believe this is happening right now. Look, I'm gonna be straight with you right now, Larry. I think you're the, f like out of all of us right in this room right now, you're the fastest, okay? So it makes, it, it, it checks out. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you talking about, dude? You're the fastest person on our track team, okay? That's racist. No, that's not racist, okay? Like, I'm, you, you're like, we went out to a parking lot right now and you beat my ass. You're faster than me, like straight up. I can't even tell if you're being serious right now. Like, I'm just being honest right now. Okay? Like, black people like honesty. Oh, right? Black yes. people right? love yes. honesty. <sighs> ah! oh! Okay, 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 listen. Yeah, babe. Okay, don't take this the wrong way. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, look, I just thought that they wouldn't see you because, you know, because. Say it. Because your skin, it, it is dark. Wow. Wow, first of all, okay, I'm, I'm light skin, okay? And second of all, it doesn't matter if I'm dark because they're fucking zombies, Jessica. But we played laser tag that one time and you were winning and it's, it's you know, that's why black people are good at laser tag. Black people are good at laser tag? Yeah, because it's dark and it's dark and the laser, you know. I'm just gonna throw this out here, okay? I'm gonna be real with y'all, all right? And I get it, you all go to liberal arts schools, so that's real cool. But the fact of the matter is, y'all don't have any black people in your lives. Integrate and maybe inclusify your lives so that way you don't make up stereotypes in a very stressful situation, okay? Truly, whether or not you feel like you're being complimentary of me right now, it comes across as super racist. And I haven't had the privilege of being in a room that was this uncomfortable with me, except for the fact that, you know, apparently I'm dating David Duke over here, and that makes me uncomfortable. So I'm uncomfortable now, too. Okay? Wait. Did you just say complimentary? Yeah, I'm stressed out. I made up a word. I had no idea that black people made up words. Are you fu- We make up words all the time. Right, right, right like, like, uh, twerk, uh, like, drizzle, like, flop, oh. like, uh, like, dizzy. No. Yes. Like, like, no. whap, whap. Wap. Shizzle. Shizzle. Hey, shizzle. Look what shizzle. I found. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Does anyone know how to use it? Uh, oh, really? Really? Fine. Yeah. Alright. Oh, y'all. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. All of you. Get the fuck out of 
here you're not, now. No, you're not. Get the are fuck? you fucking serious right now? Man? Oh my god! Oh, second one. Third one going in your ass. Oh. Yeah, okay, these zombies better not even think about coming in here before I bust cap in your asses too, okay? Well, this is a veritable Halloween fright fest! Wait till I tell my dead husband about this! Hasta por una pinche torta. The bridge. Commit this as if puedes. No mires y no hables, carnal. Lo que no debes. The bridge. The body count rising. Narco trafficking. Money stays piling. The bridge. Con dinero baila el perro. Wow. Hi, everyone. If you're just joining us, I can't tell if you can hear me, but I bet you can. This is Octavia. I am the tech for this evening. Um, and can, sound off if you can hear me. Can you hear me in the comments? Let's see here. Closed captioning says you can't. Let's see if we can fix that. You can hear me, fantastic, great. So last week we had a little bit of an issue where there was a sketch that crashed in the middle of it. And it was a live sketch, so we couldn't exactly do it from the top. Um, by the way, if you're just joining us, this is Boogie Manja. We're a sketch comedy collective based in New York City. We've gone online this season because of um, well, a global pandemic is happening, uh, and we have risen to the challenge to create art to uplift the spirits of everyone everywhere. And I hope that this comedy sparks a little bit of revolution in you and makes you feel good. With that said, Give the Baby a Knife had a sketch last week that I'm going to play for you right now. This was filmed live to tape. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, my lovelies. I'm surrounded by such commoners these days. Oh, they're everywhere. My driver almost ran over several orphans. Sadly, they jumped out of the way. <laughs> uh, unsurprising, considering all the rabble dressed like walking potholes. <laughs> <laughs> well, your ascot, dear, is divine. It was sewn by Peruvian toddlers. Oh, and you, darling, where on earth did you acquire such a gorgeous hat? Oh, this? <laughs> the feathers were plucked from an endangered Cambodian bird. He's flightless. Well, at least now he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how delightfully tragic. Uh, Cruella, I must know where you got such a unique fur coat. Oh, well, if you must know. The fur was taken from the hides of Dalmatian puppies. <laughs> what did you say? Puppies? Puppies! <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> uh, like, like puppies. had to die so that you could wear that thing. That must be 10 puppies. Um, 20 puppies? <laughs> Don't tell me it's 30 puppies. I won't. Oh, thank goodness. 
It's 101. <gasps> oh my goodness. What? You've got an endangered bird on your head and you both wear mink. How are puppies any different? But puppies are they are they are they are cute. Yes, and, and, and kind and loyal. Why, why am I explaining this to you? They're fucking puppies. Oh, Cruella, I had a puppy once. His name was Buttons. <laughs> okay, I see that you don't like that it's made of puppies, but do you at least like how it looks? <laughs> well, it does drape, brother. Oh my God, listen to us. We're all so cruel. God, I'm just like you, Cruella, but I can't be. I can't be like you. I will not live my life this way. Oh, please, what else would you do all day? I don't know. Go to grad school? Oh, Cruella, every day when I came home from school, Buttons would leap up and lick my face. It was the purest love I ever felt. Maybe the only love I ever felt. <laughs> You know, I could go into social work or study art therapy. I could also go into teaching, yes. Anything, but spend time with someone who wears dead puppies. Okay, it's just the fur. If I were wearing dead puppies, you'd see the bullet holes. Oh, Cruella, you've awakened in me something I thought long cold and dead in my cold, dead heart. And for that, I can never forgive you. <sighs> Look what you've done to Terry! He's a mess! So oh, come on, Terry. You and I will get out of here. We'll go to a shelter and we'll buy up all the puppies so Cruella can get our hands on them and make them into oven mitts or a hammock. It's what Buttons would have wanted. Oh, shoot. I lost one of my Dumbo ivory buttons. Buttons! Shut up, Terry! Buttons!